Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 11, 2022. If you like support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and let's get to it. So CPI number was released only a few hours ago, and it was better than expected. So inflation rose less than expected, and therefore the market basically rallied quite significantly today. We got uh, down towards the 12.9k, and uh, now we're trading at uh, roughly around here, around 13.3k. Uh, the problem here is that we have the uh, 200 EMA just above and it we have been testing it for several times now and even though the number was very positive today uh, we have not managed to break above the uh, 200 EMA. If you look at technical indicators as well we can see that the, the RSI is also on the edge of the HMB and overbought so there's not a lot of room to the upside before this becomes overbought and we basically have to pull back. The question is whether or not we, we um, we will see a pullback in the next two trading days or at the end of this session. Um, due to the fact that inflation looks like ha it looks like it has peaked, um, Wall Street is kind of betting at the moment that um, the Federal Reserve will not uh, be as aggressive with its interest rates highs as it has promised. Um, but that is a technically a long shot, um, pure speculation, to be fairly honest. So if we manage to break above the 200 EMA um, and get a green candlestick above that, then we may go significantly higher. We may be looking at the, the previous highs here all the way up at 15.1K, but that is to be seen at this current stage. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is still also bullish, and RSI is also bullish on the edge of being on the edge of being over or flat. If we were to pull back, then the 220 uh, moving average is moving this direction. We may find support there. Uh, that will get the RSI a little bit down, but uh, in the short term, I think it's more likely that we'll go and test the 50 moving average if we are going uh, to uh, challenge the 200 EMA. The 50 moving average is down at 12.1 at this current stage, and it would give enough uh, room for a rally uh, above the 200 EMA. So let's look at the uh, S&P 500. We can see that the S&P, we still have a, quite a lot of room until we get to the um, 200 EMA. But we're also here on the edge of being overbought. We have had a massive rally since the bottom here of uh, 3,638. And we have basically have not had a massive pullback since. So really nice rally. We have almost... Um, uh, uh, taking back the, uh, most of the one third of the fall in, in 2022. Um, so we have rallied roughly 10, 12% from, from the bottom. We are running into, we're basically struggling here at the 200 EMA. It's my basic computer that is having a glitch here. Um, and therefore I think it's more likely that we'll pull back towards the 20 simple moving average before going higher. 50 moving average moving in this direction. We could also see in the next few trading days a pullback towards the 50 uh, before going higher. When that is said, even though that inflation number is down, it is way, way, way too high. It's actually four times what the Federal Reserve is usually counting on. So it's above 8% still, and they want an uh, inflation rate of 2%. So still, a long way to go and it was expected to be around 8.5 and came in at 8.2 so, so if it's gonna fall in, in those uh, small numbers it will take a long time before inflation gets to uh, two percent and therefore it's probably not very likely that the Federal Reserve will back off its interest rates high. They will, they will be just as aggressive the next time, most likely. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bear, uh, bullish, and the RSI is also bullish on the edge of being overbought. So pullback, that's kind of what I expected uh, going for, forward before we really take on the 200 EMA. We'll probably also have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average, um, the 200 um, EMA before this really takes off. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Also here, we are basically on the edge 
pulling back ever slightly in, in the end of the session. Uh, we see that we had a bottom here of 29.6k, trading at the 33.4k in the second decision stage, and also on the edge of being or bot. So pullback at this point should be expected. 20 simple moving average down here at the 32.2k, and this will most likely move in this direction, and we could see a similar pullback here before going higher. Breaking below that, then we have the 50, in uh, that is trading at 31.6 at this point. point. You can see this market pull back also to the 50 moving average before going higher. Breaking below that, then we are going significantly lower. MACD is bullish, stochastic bullish, RSI is also bullish. The momentum is to the upside, but we are getting very overstretched. So let's look at the German DAX. We can see that the DAX has rallied yet again. We are forming a really nice channel here in the DAX and we got to the lower part of the channel and then basically rally to the upside. If this continues, then the target here will most likely be the 200 DMA, which is not going to travel that way. It will most likely uh, flatten that now, straight at 14.3k. So European markets has have absolutely been hammered. And looking at this, this does not look pretty. It does not look, <laughs> but not a lot of confidence in this market. We have a double top here that we also need to get it through, but the last few weeks have been positive for for that for the DAX. Um, but going into winter, this probably will continue falling as the European economies will be struggling when it comes to energy. Uh, if you look at MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bullish on our side, it's also bullish, but here uh, still more room to the upside. So we may see this rally a little bit further before uh, pulling back. So let's look at the Japanese Nikkei. We are basically building a base here, um, roughly highs of uh, 28.2K and the 200 EMA right underneath here. So we're just going back and forward and until we basically break above here, then we may go higher, but breaking below the 200 EMA, the 50 moving average comes into play. Uh, so there is still kind of a massive bottom here. But we've seen this before. We saw it here when we also had a range and we pulled back. Here we rallied significantly upside and then pulled back. But now it looks like we're basically stabilizing here. The question is whether or not we rally or we basically test the 50 moving average or go back to the very bottom. MACD is still uh, uh, bullish. Stochastic has become bullish and the RSI is also bullish on the edge. Uh, no, not even the edge of being over overbought, but not a lot of room to the upside. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX continues to drop significantly. And now we're getting into an area which in the past has offered quite a lot of support. We saw it all the way here, also here, and we're entering this same area. I would not be surprised if we see a spike in the VIX. This probably would become uh, be in the form of um, some Federal Reserve member going out saying that their plans of interest rate hikes are going to go forward because still, still inflation is way too high and that will most likely have a massive spike in, in, in the VIX. But we are approaching at this current stage uh, 21.41 uh, which we haven't seen since well all the way back here in, in April. So we fell all the way down to 21. Uh, and then rallied and we also felt uh, in the beginning of the year down towards uh, the same area before rallying so going forward we may see something similar to what we saw here where we rallied all the way up towards 35 point uh, for 17 and also here to the same level and here we may see the same thing going forward if we break below this, then we are we have another level here, which is at the very lows of 15 to 17. But that is to be seen. We're just entering this area right now. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish. But we are oh, technically on the edge of being oversold. So a rally should be expected here, here going, going forward. So let's look at the 10 year. So 10 year fell quite significantly uh, when the CPI number was uh, basically released. And also here we have a 
really nice channel forming where the lows um, yeah, roughly here. So oh, the highs, we are basically t testing the highs. We fell down low uh, quite a bit, but the problem here is that we have the 200 EMA right underneath and that should offer massive support. If you also look at the Fibonacci retracements, we have fallen significantly in this market. Um, 61.8 is down here at the same area where the 200 EMA is. 50 is down here. That's where we tested and we rallied. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was basically taking the bottom and that we are about to go higher. If that is the case, we have to test the 50 moving average and break above that and also this area here, which was massive support in the past. But breaking below the 200 moving average, then we are dropping significantly lower. lower. If we look at, if we look at the Kinga Indigens, we can see the MACD is bearish and bullish in bearish territory. Stochastic has become bearish and RSI is bearish as well. So hope you find helpful. You want to support by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button and see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.